Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And this is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video diving into the special spider tournament that is going on right now in game. And we'll talk about who this makes sense for to grind and who it doesn't and break down the rewards and the teams and the and most popular champions I expect to be used and everything you need to know to determine whether it is worth it to pursue participating in this tournament or not. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so as you'll see over on the right side of the screen, there's actually no events live right now, which is super rare in Raid. All we are seeing is tournaments live in game, and we've got obviously the Razzle Varg Fusion. So you want to make sure and prioritize the Ice Golem if you're going to be going for Razzle Varg. But if you have extra energy left over besides the Ice Golem tourney, should you think about participating in the Spider Tournament or not? And one of the first things that you'll see as you take a look at this tournament is, you know, even my group right here, you can see there's literally only nine people that have even done a single run in this tournament and the groups are a hundred people large. So participation rate is probably going to be somewhere between like five and 10%, depending on your RNG in your group. But because of the Roswell fusion going on and because of the ice golem tournament, that people need to prioritize spending their energy on probably going to be pretty realistic to win this one if you wanted to like if you're not going for Roslevarg or something i could see going hard in the paint on the spider tournament as long as you could build a realistic team and being able to win the relentless gear and all of that and also worth noting that the spider tournament is live for one day longer than the ice golem tournament so i would maybe do the ice golem stuff today for Roslevarg if you have like some energy in your inbox that you have left to claim or anything like that. And then tomorrow you could try to scoop up the 1800 points that you would need in the spider tournament to get after grabbing all of the max rewards. And this is going to be a tournament that has special conditions, obviously, where you can only use champions from the Telerian Alliance. Now that is going to be the first row on the index here, Banner Lords, High Elves, Sacred Order, and Barbarians. And I do have an article over on the site breaking down the Telerian only spider tournament that I'll link to down below. And the notable thing that I want to talk about in relation to this video is if you scroll down a little bit, I've got some of the more popular champions that I expect people to choose and use decently often. You've got your Ronda, Septimus, Maricha, Stagnite, Dagger, Arbiter, Wasandra, Royal Guard, Tyrell, Apothecary, Sir Nicholas, Venus, Mordecai, Sill of the Drakes, of Valkyrie, Tahanarok, Elder Skarg, Armina, and War Maiden. Now, these four factions are pretty robust. They do have a pretty good amount of champions of the four subsets, like between the Telerians and the Game of Impact and the Corrupted and all that. The Telerians probably have the most champions, just like raw amount of champions. So you've got a good blend. You know, you've got budget options like Stagnite and Royal Guard and Tyrell and Apothecary and uh, Armina and War Maiden and Dagger. You know, some rares that can break defense, some rares that can heal and buff speed, like Apothecary, and then some really good epics as well. Royal Guard, enemy max HP, which can be really good in any stage, like under level 20. Tyrell can be pretty decent in progression teams and all of that. So, should be a decent amount of options out there especially for anybody that's at least kind of trending towards the mid game of raid then if we look at the kind of rewards that are up for grabs in this tournament you're going to get about six or seven dollars worth of stuff at least like according to our offer calculator and how things compare if they were like offered in, in packs in game in the shop or something so i would it's nothing super amazing i would say the most noteworthy thing which playing has been doing as kind of a trend in these tournaments is they've been having the eternal soul essence as the top reward up here and the eternal soul essence is pretty solid to get your hands on long term because sometimes just like raw purchasing your blessings that are most impactful for your account like the champions that you use the most in pvp or your hydra carry and stuff like that usually it's the most guaranteed value over the long haul is just to try and get as much essence as possible so anytime you can see that in tournaments and events it's worth at least considering trying to get after and uh by trying to farm up that amount of essence in the iron twins even if you are on level uh, 15, it's going to take you about 500 energy on average to acquire just that five essence that's up for grabs in the spider tournament. So something worth considering and keeping in the back of your mind as long as you are caught up and you're doing okay on the Roslevarg fusion type stuff. So yeah, for me personally today, I'm going to make sure that I get the ice golem done. But when I do dive in, I'm just going to run a team. You know what? I wonder if my team would work on stage 25. I would probably have to swap out Royal Guard and Septimus 
like like this team will definitely work on stage 20 i'll show you right here it's just kind of a normal team that i like for tournaments like this i don't usually like to do a bunch of gear swapping and and, and blowing up my account and changing champions i like to just kind of get it done get in there scoop up my rewards on the right side and then kind of call it a day so yeah like this team will probably average i believe like 45 seconds to one minute somewhere in there uh like i said in, like, like i say in the article on the site it's a little bit unfortunate that we're not really going to have access to a ton of the um like the reset champions like your prince kaimar and your renegade and stuff like that so i can't like reset i could probably put in like a second royal guard or something instead of marichka but i don't really have a second royal guard just built off the top of my head ready to go so right here i'll be able to kill it in just a few seconds as soon as i kind of cycle through i believe septimus has needs one more turn and he'll have his holy sword back and he will be able to blast down the uh the, the spider here and finish it off and there we go boom okay yeah so somewhere between like 50 seconds and one minute is gonna be most of my runs this would be perfectly fine to, uh, to to go ahead and light up the tournament and finish it, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow for uh, until I get the, the, the rare up for grabs and the ice golem. Now, if I were going to try to do level 25 instead of level 20, I would go the route of using a shielder and then switch to like a low damage HP burn tick strategy using somebody like a Mordecai plus like a shielder, your Sir Nick, your Valkyrie, something like that. To, uh, to let those HP burns tick and just kind of tank the damage and and let the Spider 25 kind of burn itself down by using something like a Mordecai here in the Sacred Order for that consistent AoE HP burn. So definitely something to consider, but in terms of points per energy spent, level 20 is usually typically just as good or even better than level 24 or level 25. So you don't have to feel super pressured over it if you are going to be getting the, uh, if you're going to be trying to get the essence. And I know also I saw some people saying on my channel that they're just going to grind for the Ancient Shard. Now we do have the Ancient Shard event going on this weekend where you have bonus Legos. So another very noteworthy thing, maybe just go for the 1150 and scoop up your Ancient Shard. You never know that one Ancient Shard could be your duchess and kaimar that you pull for the uh for the for the bonus lego event you never know yolo's uh wild lucky things do happen i have both gotten extremely lucky and extremely screwed many times over the course of my raid shadow legends career and i know like one of the most notable ones was i was just live streaming once and i got like an ancient shard from the clan boss and i had some viewer do something nice like 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 donate five bucks or something and i was like hey in your honor i'm gonna yolo this ancient shard that i just got from the clan boss boom duchess and there was no event going on or anything like that so it does happen you do get lucky if you pull enough shards over enough amount of time so it's always worth kind of scooping them up when they are there for rewards but yeah i will link to the article down below if you'd like to pull up the text version of what I'm talking about in this video and all of that. So uh, that's where I stand right now. I'm going to do the ice golem today, and then I'm going to try to get that essence tomorrow, but at least get the uh, ancient shard for sure. But if you are going after the Rosalvar fusion, make sure you prioritize that. I would hate to see you spend your energy to get five essence and then miss out on the rare you're going to need for Rosalvar because you can't miss anything. There's not going to be an epic for grabs this weekend in like a champion chase event. There's not going to be an extra rare. You need to get all 16. You need to get all elements of it unless you got the epic during the summon rush then you might have a little bit of leeway or if you pulled one during like pulling ancient shards or something for the summon rush but for most of you if you're going for Rosalvarg, definitely prioritize that and then maybe think about doing the spider tomorrow to at least get the ancient shard but yeah that does it for me on this one and feel free to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid shadow legends content i'm probably going to be streaming it tonight uh with layla fox i think i'm going to have her come on as a special guest and pull some shards on my account and hopefully Hopefully, uh, I think I'm decently close to my mercy and we'll see if we can't pop off. I was talking about all this luck, so now I'm probably going to get screwed tonight. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how the shard pulls go. And I hope if you're pulling shards for the bonus Lego event, it is going well for you. But I appreciate you. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.